mind? Do you mind? I am all dressed and ready to go to my ballet class, but I just want to check in to say that if ever there was a day where I need to test my mental fortitude, that day is today. Oh, if only she knew how right she was at the time, but we'll save that for later. I didn't sleep well last night because of this one, right? You kept me up all night. When I don't sleep, I just don't do well. Excuse me, sir. Sir, I'm trying to do something. Then I was also getting ready and I realized I am out of contacts. I have no idea how that happened, but I really can't dance in these glasses. That just doesn't go well. So I... <laughs> <laughs> so basically, because these are gonna come whizzing off the second I try to do so much as a Shanae turn, I am just gonna have to dance blind, which is frustrating because I barely know what I'm doing to begin with. I really rely upon seeing what's going on. Not to mention, it's absolutely freezing outside, so no part of me no part of me wants to go outside. Now that I'm covered in dog hair. But on another note, I feel like days like this can actually be really good. When you have so many reasons to say no to something, it's just kind of like, am I gonna give in to this? Or am I gonna push through? How much does it mean to me to make this happen despite the circumstances? There's always gonna be a reason to say no to something. There's always gonna be a reason not to do something. But I don't think a lot of us are practiced in pushing through any of that. We're very much just used to, oh, I'm kind of tired. I just don't really feel like it right now. And we wait to do these things that we want to do. We wait to live the lives we say we want to live until we feel like living them. And the fact of the matter is there's probably not gonna come a day where you just wake up and feel like doing something that's hard. Often the motivation and the energy comes from actually doing the thing. There definitely is something to be said for taking breaks when you need them and when you're in tune enough with yourself to know like, you know what, I have been pushing, pushing, pushing. I also need to have that softness and that time to replenish. Nothing wrong with that. Today is a day where I don't feel like I need that. I feel like this is my day to go to dance. This could be my best day of dancing. This could be the day that I learn something groundbreaking. So anyway, let's get going. Let's get a move on. Let's see how this goes today. Okay, we have some serious stuff to talk about at home. <laughs> Definitely need a little Christmas cheer right now. Thank you, thank you. I have this one over here making it very difficult to be upset. I am gonna preface this by saying I know that I'm probably being so affected by all of this because of how tired I am, but we need to talk about it. And I don't wanna talk about it to be dramatic or anything like that. I genuinely believe that it needs to be said and I think that it could actually help some people. Before we get into that, I need to give you a little bit of a backstory. Dancing today did not go well. Definitely my worst class yet. I got to class, I was filming. I know I was talking earlier about not even being sure if I should go and yet like the second I get to class, I'm just like, oh, this just feels like home. So one of the main motivations that I love filming for is to have my progress. Anytime you're starting something new, you're gonna have your days 
where you don't know why you're doing this anymore, even if it's 1% all the time, having that visual proof of improvement, that's gonna keep you going. Anyway, this random woman basically just kind of stops the entire class, turned it into this huge deal that I was filming myself because I guess she was worried that she was in the video. Obviously, it's important for everybody to feel comfortable in class. I confirmed with the teacher that we are allowed to film. I was trying to be discreet about it. There was just this big scene being made about it and it was deeply embarrassing. I basically just spent the entire class just trying to emotionally regulate. I was... <laughs> It's actually kind of funny to think about now because I was like such an angry ballerina. Like I was literally just standing there like in five and six and seven and eight. I don't know why but my brain immediately goes to such a negative place and then I just kept thinking I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know why I'm I'm bothering to do this. I'm never going to be a dancer. I'm never going to be a good dancer. Why should I even be trying to document this? Why should I even be trying to tell this story? I'm not going to lie. I was kind of like staring daggers at her for part of the class because I was pissed. But then I was like, you got to get over this. It's something with her. Something tragic happened to her when she was recording herself on an iPhone. I don't know. Things are going to come up that could interrupt a performance or a class. And I'm going to have to learn how to not let that affect me so much so I moved on from it yeah it's kind of frustrating what this person decided to do I can't control that I can only control how I react to it but then I got out of class I just posted a little YouTube short that was like a day in the life of a ballerina in New York City I noticed that there was a comment on it I thought you know maybe it would be something positive <laughs> That's where I went wrong, apparently. The comment said, how the fuck do you call yourself a ballerina? Like, why do I think I have a right to call myself a ballerina? I know I'm gonna need to toughen up. I know I'm gonna need to be able to handle criticism. It's not really about that, though. I was actually insecure about titling it that way. Then I really had a conversation with myself, and I realized that that is a leftover emotion from being told I would never be a ballerina and I said to myself I am not gonna let that hold me back. Ordinarily this wouldn't even affect me. I've gotten negative comments before that's just how people are but A this hit me at a moment where I was already really emotional and B, I'm not just thinking about myself I'm thinking about everybody else who has ever wanted to do something especially <laughs> ballet where for whatever reason there's just this like chokehold on it and I know that I let attitudes like that hold me back from who I know that I really was that I really am for such a long time because of a flippant comment like that that meant nothing and now I'm thinking of all the other dancers all the other people who are too shy to start something new because they feel like they're too late or they're not good enough or what are people gonna think of them that's who I'm thinking about and so hearing someone say something like that it just gave life to my fear to your fears anybody's fears who is just trying to become the best version of themselves and is struggling to do that because of people saying and thinking things like that and it's wild to me that we will hold ourselves back from things that make us happier and more joyful than anything else in the world because of a person we don't even know that just decided to be a little bit mean don't let that be your problem that's got to be their problem I don't regret my life because I'm here now I believe that I am where I'm supposed to be but I can't help but think sometimes where would I be I could have been dancing for over a decade and I didn't let myself I held myself back from that I don't want that for anybody else and that's why I want to talk about this right now there can be so much gatekeeping surrounding the dance world and I get it I do really get it because dancers are athletes it is hard 
to dance and people dedicate their entire lives to it they get rejected and they get hurt physically mentally like it is not an easy industry it's not an easy thing to do but I'm not talking to those people and I'm not calling myself a professional ballerina I'm not even calling myself a good ballerina or a good dancer I'm calling myself a dancer because I go to dance every single week and I can't stop thinking about it and I can't stop dreaming about it and when I'm in my kitchen alone no one's watching I'm dancing I'm doing research behind the scenes to catch up with the terminology that I never learned when I was younger I believe that there is a way to respond to this with love to turn this into a positive instead of a negative so here's what I want to say first of all to the person who left that comment thank you thank you for making me so passionate about this for realizing that this is something that needs to be talked about we are dancers because we know it in our bones we are dancers in our heart we're dancers in our soul and by the way this goes for anything i'm not just talking to dancers maybe you whatever it is that you want to do and you're not doing because you're afraid of comments like that nobody gets to tell you who you are, what you have a right to call yourself, you know that. If it's your destiny, if it's your purpose, if it's just your freaking Wednesday night hobby, it's yours. Anybody who is starting something new and struggling with imposter syndrome, fitting in, being so afraid of someone voicing your deepest insecurities. I deeply understand how hard that is, but we can't control what other people are saying and doing. All we can control is how we respond to that. If this has ever happened to you, if you're afraid it's gonna happen to you, we're in this together. I am a sensitive, sensitive soul, obviously. I don't know what gave that away. And I'm not letting it stop me. And you don't need to let it stop you, nobody gets the right to make you feel inferior. Hey, Eleanor Roosevelt, nobody gets the right to tell you who you really are, who you know you really are. Whatever story you're writing, just remember you're the one holding the pen. Nobody else is writing your story. That's all I have to say. Oh my, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Are you excited? Come on, come on. Come here, come here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Set up the air mattress so we can have a sleepover with Max. Right?